Arriving in Franklin County after a four-hour haul, Josh delivers 500 pounds of ripe fruit to his shine partners eager to kick off their season with a run of strawberry brandy. Boys, I've been through hell. Yeah? What do you mean, hell? Well, I joshed it up again. Well, that's the biggest damn green strawberry I've ever seen in my life, Josh. Go back to the truck. I'm expecting strawberries, and lo and behold, what we got? Watermelons. And then I look a little closer, and it's pineapple. There, Josh. Yeah, you done skinned a gator. Lord on money. <laughs> Make me up a gator skin boot right there. Yes, sir. I really truthfully think that that would make some good moonshine right there. Maybe if the cores were out of it. I don't know about that. They're awful dry. Well, uh, they're about rotten. You know, we tried a lot of things over the years, but alligator skin, pineapple, that's just not on our list. What do you got in mind, Josh? There's a family recipe from back home that's super famous called the green lizard. We make it out of the watermelon, the rind, everything. Just smash it all up. It really brings out that watermelon flavor if you'd use the rinds. I remember seeing the adults drinking green lizard when I was a kid, you know? And my dad passed this recipe down, and that's how I found out about it. We're not going to use any sugar, and we run it. We run it twice double to steal it, and it comes out so good. This is only enough for maybe one pot. I don't know how much this is gonna wind up being. You know, we've built this great big steel site. There's eight pots. This looks like a lot of watermelons. That right there, that's gonna mash in one pot. Look, man, this may not be enough to mash in all these steels, but I think it'll bring good money. It's gonna be good liquor. Ready to roll I'm with it. for it, what do you think? Sounds good to me. Well, got it, let's roll with it. Now, how are you gonna plan on busting all this stuff up? I got a smasher over there. Let's go check it out. Josh is telling us that he's got a special purpose for these watermelons. We're going to make a little higher-end liquor this year than what we made during the pandemic. Now that everybody's coming out of it, it's going to be like the roaring 20s all over again. People are going to be out. They're going to be wanting to drink. They're going to want to be celebrating. We're going to make sure they celebrate with our moonshine. Basically, this fits pretty tight in there, OK? And then. This goes on here, okay? What do you mean? Which way? It'll, it'll go up here like this right here, and it'll attach to this, it pushes okay? It, pushes and then it that down. pushes it down and smash everything. Josh has got this thing. It's basically the biggest beer can crusher in the world. He says we're going to be able to smash these watermelons up with that. Let's see what she'll do. I ain't no rocket scientist, but a hammer does the same thing. There we go. Nope. You lift up on it and jerk it down. Yeah, break it up and jerk it. Look at the We're having a slight problem with this fruit crusher. It's a little bit tougher to get the, the rind busted down. Are you smashing them? Yeah, smashing them. Yeah, smashing them. You gonna get it. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Damn, I thought that was gonna do it. It got a good start on it, but uh, it's about it. Well, I don't like how much work it is. We got these watermelons in this masher. We can't get enough leverage on it. It just, it, it's not going to do it. What if we put a hydraulic ram on it? You know, just hook it to a battery and use a little button up and down, up and down. I got a hydraulic arm back here. You can off a ditch witch. Show me what you're talking about. I have to see what you mean. Let's see, where's that bastard at? Back over beyond the side of that table. Back through the old boneyard. Right here's the hydraulic ram. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my damn wood split, hoss. I think we can make it work, though. Check it out. Y'all can't tear out my wood splitter. It's got a handle. Yeah. All we got to do is unbolt it right here. That's not even mine. Whose is it? It's been sitting here five years. Hell, sounds like it's his, man. <laughs> well, I can't watch this. I can't watch it. Go on, take it apart. For real? Take yeah, it for real. Take it apart. Henry, he's got an old log splitter, and this suits our purposes perfectly. This thing's probably got about a 20-ton cylinder on it, and it's made to hook up to a tractor. And so what we'll do is we're going to make this uh, fruit smasher hydraulic. We can take and mount this up in a frame, change that plate out, what we got on our smasher, and put it right here. Hook this to Henry's tractor and smash fruit. And let back up off of it. So be gentle. Be gentle. This is where we're going to put our fruit in. We're going to come up and build a frame up here, over, and down. And then we're going to take this hydraulic cylinder and mount it right here. Perfect. And then we'll hook it to Henry's tractor, and when we pull the lever, it's going to mash down with about 20 tons of force. 
All right, so let's find some metal and let's put this baby together. <laughs> there you go, buddy. I don't know what it is about welding, but it puts Josh in this happy place. I almost envision him in a, a, in a meadow full of flowers, you know, birds singing, bees flying by. That's it right yonder. And here Josh is sitting the whole thing on fire welding. But you know what? He's as happy as then. And it does me good to see Josh happy. Watch your fingers. There you go. Now that we got our fruit crusher going, this thing not only will mash watermelons, it'll mash anything we need in it. What in the hell? What's up, Brian? I just got here just in time for work, huh? Just in time. Now it's time to mash in. Watch this right here. Hell yeah. Beautiful, you're done good, brother. <laughs> We're using this watermelon smasher, and that stuff's flying everywhere. I'm talking about if you mash it down, hold it down, <laughs> and it'll squirt dang eight, ten feet straight up. All right, when it starts squeezing down, slow down on it. It works awesome, and it cuts our time down, and this thing's got a ton of power. It's badass. This stuff only got to be busted up a little bit. It ain't got to be real fine. As long as this stuff broke up enough to actually get it in there and get juice out of it, that's all we really need. This baby is almost ready to put in. Once I bring your water up to about right here, and then we're going to throw the yeast to the baby. Gonna make that green lizard, brother. As we're smashing these watermelons, I'm noticing that we might fill four barrels up, which is enough for one small pot. You know, we've built this great big steel site. There's eight pots. The watermelon's gonna make some good brandy. It's just not gonna make enough of it. What's fixing to happen here? What we're gonna do here, we're gonna kick this yeast off before we pour it in that tub. We're taking a little bit of warm water, we're taking some of the mash bill, and you'll see it, baby, kick in. We're not gonna add any sugar at all to our liquor. We want this thing to be all watermelon. Baby's working. Get them in the barrels. It's gonna make better liquor. Looks good. Yes, it does. Now that we've got everything mashed in and getting it working, it's just a matter of waiting for this stuff to work off. When it gets ready, we're going to take this stuff down to the steel site, and hopefully we come out with a great product. Look at you under. Hey, bro, this thing's working like hell. Perfect. That's what we want right there. 